If you guys don't absolutely rock it in San Francisco, it's because we didn't set you up for success. We're promising to some degree that these entrepreneurs are those that will trailblaze progress. And those promises are big expectations. How are you gonna wow them? What's your magic? What makes you unique? What do you have that another competitor can't just walk in and snag? The whole idea behind this pitch is to entice somebody to wanna have a conversation with you afterwards. Huge amount at stake for the Interusable Institute in San Francisco. These are some of the most um, forward-thinking um, funders in the space of social enterprise. If they don't deliver, if they aren't able to blow that audience away, then the Unreasonable Institute, I think, is going to lose some face. That's exciting. I mean, like, putting our neck on the lines for these entrepreneurs is exciting. This is, this is the Unreasonable Institute. We're not here to play it safe. 25 brilliant entrepreneurs working on ventures in 17 countries and hailing from six continents will convene this summer in Boulder. Living under the same roof and sharing the same meals for 10 weeks, they have convened in Boulder this summer for one reason, to create ventures that future generations will remember as having changed the world. Ventures that will effectively address a social or environmental need, that are financially self-sustaining, and that will ultimately scale to meet the needs of at least one million people. It's no big deal. We're 22 fellows from 16 different countries, and one of the things that I think we, that I was really excited about was celebrating um, the diversity that was going to be in this house and like really exchanging, you know, some of our traditions. I'm from a small village in Pakistan, where we fight honor killings of women in tribal communities. This is the Holy Quran that my mom gave me when I was coming here. If we start the day with Holy Quran, our day is really great. And I feel like it's a great way of meditating and being peaceful. I bought this in Ecuador when I was living in South America. And then I brought this from Kenya. And I liked it because it sort of like connected the U.S. with Africa. We made this room a mixture of Pakistan, U.S. and India. I used to think my job was really hard working with traffic women, dealing in dangerous situations. And then I met Khalida. If she can go into a community with one eye exposed and do the kind of work she's done, that I need to do so much more. I'm actually working on the road trip out to San Francisco for the West Coast Pitch Fest. And I'm looking to lock up and secure a bus to get everybody out there. I think I've secured the best price. For the bus company, I have to go and find hotels for all the drivers along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and call um, the hostel that we're staying with in San Francisco. I'm hoping they'll give the driver a free room. So in the past week, everyone has been a little bit busy, a little bit stressed, a little frustrated. On Monday, we're going to be pitching to about 75 to 100 investors, philanthropists. So this is a very big opportunity for the fellows. Lots of caffeine, good food, uh, lots of slides to look at, and financials and spreadsheets to go through. I was thinking during my presentation, I should just go cross-eyed when I start talking about the financial. It's like, now I want you to have a chance yeah, to look at idea. the finance. <laughs> Yesterday, my presentation was a mess. Our purpose is to enhance the lives of people with disabilities through sport. Today, I'm getting a bit more of the flow. 818. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Yeah, you got it, you got it. Cool. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. It, it was interesting. Might have just had uh, an investor ask us, let's just play a theoretical game. What if what if we give you $5 million today instead of $300,000 as a bridge loan? Could you could you move faster? And uh, it was kind of exciting. We have to secure a room for our driver of the bus for $60. Bucks. Um, gosh. Thanks, Mo. Bye. Uh, it's the kind of shit I got to deal with all day. <laughs> Maria's working on her pitch, so every five minutes she will interrupt my Excel calculations by saying, Trina, does this sound, sentence sound better or does that sentence sound better? And then I'll give her a verdict and then she'll ask Khalida who'll give her a different verdict. And then Maria will just be as confused as when she started out. We came as strangers, total strangers, and we are going back as sisters. Khalida has been one of the greatest influences on my life. If I know anybody who's going to win the Nobel Peace Prize in, in our lives, it's going to be her not only for the work she's doing, but for the person she is. It is 10.21, Friday night. We leave in 
11 hours. My goal is to have my presentation done before we leave. I would love to sleep tonight, but if I can get on the bus with a piece of mind, the presentation's done. I'm just on a Skype call with Jayhan, using my iPhone with Skype and my computer for the presentation. So hopefully we'll be ready by Monday in San Francisco. I believe that education plus technology plus people equals hope. I'm tightening the screws. Uh, we, we were at 9 minutes 15 seconds, so the target is to hit 8, eight minutes, which is what I'm going to get done now. Is this a different solution than the other one you just presented? Yeah, but I think it's getting too complicated. Yeah, I was about to say, stop it. Well, this presentation is about conveying one core message, right? Okay. What is that core message in your mind? In my mind, it's very clear that Keto International is a good investment. I mean, and then, then show that this, that absolutely. then it could eventually go to permanent, right? You don't, as much, again, we're yeah, presenting to an possible. audience, simple as possible. Yeah. You are, all you're trying to do is engaging the conversation. Yeah. 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 Okay. Leave them blown away, right? Yeah. Again, like they leave with the conviction that you were the person. Hi, sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. For sure. You are the greatest. Stop it. So there's a little bit of a um, feeling in the house of that scene in Home Alone where everyone's rushing downstairs trying to get to the airport on time. We're going to San Francisco in like 30 minutes and I can't even tell you how excited I am. And somebody gets left behind and that person's just gonna wake up saying, wait, where did everybody go? I think you should just write your pitch and put it under your pillow and sleep with the bear the whole time so you learn by osmosis. A couple of changes of underwear, some socks, and a PowerPoint. That's all you need in San Francisco. Last night I came home with all of the intention of busting out the rest of my PowerPoint and then uh, my presentation totally crashed and burned and recovering it was so exhausting that I had to go to bed. <laughs> didn't have an overnight bag so I had to pack a picnic basket. If you are on the bus to San Francisco, you're going to have to exit because this is actually the bus to New York City. This is your last chance to get your towel if you forgot that. Thank you very much. The bus will leave in 10 seconds. You better run. It's to motivate us. Why? Yeah. Because he overcame all odds. If you have any friends not on, you better call him. This bus is rolling. <laughs> Give me one for the bill. Go that way. Let's go in closer. Shh, they are very dangerous. Shh. Let's check out his PowerPoint to see what happens next. Shh. The toilet paper on the side looks really good though. He's taken the old who gives a crap paper and um, yeah. made it look really good. And welcome to Nigeria. Thank you very much.